What's up guys? In this video, I want to show you like a totally legit um, like roadmap or like how the transition from someone that has like a non-tech job to a tech career to be making like six figures or more like 100% legit in a way where you don't get stuck, you don't get overwhelmed in a way where you know you'll see exactly all the potential problems that can come up along the way and i'm gonna share with you what i currently do what is my strategy revised again after one week probably i'm gonna make another one in a couple of weeks because every single day i realize potential issues i realize potential problems with an approach and whatnot and i always strive to improve what i have okay and what is my idea of like the best roadmap for a beginner developer and i'm gonna share it with you today in this uh on this whiteboard i'm gonna explain to you how it works and it's gonna be a bit of a ranty video as always probably like a long video and uh yeah let's get started okay first thing i want to split it into a few phases okay the first phase is the completely noob phase okay so this is noob then we have beginner i'm gonna call the next phase intermediary then i'm gonna have advanced intermediary then i'm gonna call it ready and then the last one is pro these are the six stages and i just made them up right now <laughs> as you can see i'm still you know i'm working with people like people like you that want to change their lives okay so it's not like i'm making this for views and whatnot i'm literally telling you how i see things based on like real world experience based on like market feedback you know i don't do things randomly i do things you know based on data i'm not emotional about this and i'm just thinking about how can i make this the best thing possible for my clients and then for you you can take it and you can apply it as you want okay with noob phase what we, not, we need to do is we need to study the first one is html css i've told you multiple times go on the apple website replicate this from scratch then when you're good to go with this then you can make something like this i'll show you what my students are making they have this uh, figma and then they have to replicate this okay they need to make it like a real website and whatnot and this is happening usually in the first month, depending on like how clever you are and how quick you are to apply everything that I'm telling you. Well, by the end of the month, you should have something like this done. I had people doing this in the first two weeks when they joined the program. And I had people that had to forget everything they've learned in their lives so far. And they had to relearn every single concept and that took longer, okay? So first phase is HTML and CSS. Then, the next phase is beginner and then you need to learn javascript okay and i made a video about this and i'm talking about the stuff that you need to learn as a javascript developer and as a programmer as a whole you know variables functions if else statements data structures you know objects arrays you should be extremely familiar with that and then on top of that which is like the foundation for any like programming language you should know how to uh, manipulate the DOM you know how to create elements how to grab them how to modify them after you grab them how to update them as the user clicks and whatnot so you need to learn about events and this is like the basic of JavaScript so in the beginning you are a noob you, you know nothing about web development then you get into like HTML and CSS you get your quick wins okay you build a few a few websites right you get some quick feedback and you start to feel successful and then you are hyped up for the next uh, part which is javascript so the reason why it's important for you to get this quick feedback or the reason why i do it is because i am actually you know manipulating people you know because i know people are very emotional okay and i need to learn how to control their emotions as they are learning this stuff so they don't lose hope and you know uh, motivation and probably you've never heard this before but everyone is trying to manipulate in one way or another but i'm using my manipulative powers for the better good of my clients i guess so i'm giving them like things that will give them quick 
feedback, feedback that's good, feedback that will make them say, oh, I can actually do this. And then I spend a lot of time with them in here. So they have to make three websites, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so the Apple website, FinTrend and another website, they have to make three websites because I want to make them feel comfortable and confident because they will jump into JavaScript and then they will be like hit like by a truck. That's gonna, that's how it's gonna feel. And then they will want to quit at that point. So then I'm gonna say something like, hey, yeah, why quit now? You've learned that thing as well. Obviously this is gonna be a bit more complicated, but you've already done that. Why would you quit now? And then they keep going, right? And then they move over from this beginner part of the program or the roadmap if you may and they go into intermediary intermediary means you know how to build the basic javascript applications the calculator the to do uh, the to do app the pomodoro app you know how to manipulate the dom properly you need to you understand how to uh, deal with events properly you know about resizing you know all this stuff you know some algorithms not like sorting and whatnot, not like computer science algorithms, but you can go on code wars and solve a few easy algorithms if that makes sense. So that's like the intermediary. And I already told you what apps to build. So you should know if you know how to build those. Okay. Do not go ahead and copy from a YouTuber. You know, do not do that. Actually go ahead and try and see if you can do them. If you cannot do them, then you're still a beginner in JavaScript. So you have to go back. Do not be afraid to go back. The worst thing that you can do is to just try to go forward. And if you do not have the right mental capacity to, to go forward, then you'll always be pushed back. So you are better off going back, getting comfortable with the things that you should be comfortable with. And then you move to the next stage, just a side note. So then, once you are out of this intermediary phase, then you go into advanced intermediary and then you learn something like React, okay, which is like a JavaScript library and React is a must right now, okay? You, you cannot just be a web developer or a high paid developer without knowing either React or Vue or Angular. React is the most popular library right now and you should be knowing it, okay? In my opinion. Besides this, you need to learn about routing you should know about state management you should get ready to learn this stuff because here when you are ready then you should be working on that long-term project so until now my clients were building this and then they were uh, getting a job right but due to changes in the job market i have decided to make the program longer and harder so before people were going ahead with getting a job at this stage can you still do this right now yes is it recommendable? No. Again, I'm telling you stuff, like I'm making my life harder, if that makes sense. But I'm telling you like how things are, so you know what to expect for yourself, okay? I could just get rid of the people, you know, like after six months, after they're done with that project, but no, I realized that there is another stage that you need to go through, and I'm gonna tell you what that is. So here is where you should be creating like a capstone project, a project that you will be working on for a few months, three months or so, where you would get extremely familiar and comfortable with everything that you've learned here, 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 and here, okay? You're basically revising all this stuff by building this big project. And now, once you're done with this, then you go ahead and you'll build a real world product. What is a real world product? Where well, is an application? that will solve a real problem. What I'm doing with my students is I'm creating this fictitious company. And I mean, it's not fictitious because it will exist, but it won't generate any revenue for the moment. And then they have to work like a team. So I suggest you, I suggest to you to find a team of other developers, maximum two people should be involved in this project if you do not have a senior developer. The reason why you shouldn't do that is because the more people you have, the harder it's gonna be to manage. It's already difficult for me to manage eight people that are working on this project right now. But the thing is, if you work on this project for like two months, then you'll be getting so much experience, you would be working two years by yourself. Like, it's so crazy. Because you'll be dealing with things that you've never dealt before, like deploying an application, which I had to learn, I hired some guy to teach me. You need to learn how to communicate with people. You need to learn a bunch of things that you've never done before in your entire life. This phase is going to be super important because you can even stretch the truth a little bit and then you can say that I've worked for this company that you've created with your buddies for like one or two years. And then 
instead of grabbing a salary that is like 60k you go for 120 so you literally double your salary if you know what you're doing here what is the difference between this roadmap that i'm talking about here and the roadmap of a self-taught developer or the roadmap of a bootcamp graduate from my experience people go job hunting here when they are advanced intermediates they know all this stuff barely and now they are trying to get a job here and that's why they face so many rejections okay because the bootcamp is three months like right? this thing takes anyway like six months to accomplish and then another six months here but if you go to a bootcamp this is gonna take you like three months and you'll barely barely learn anything okay if you're lucky you're gonna learn something and then if you are self-taught this is gonna take you maybe two years okay one to two years to do this part and then you start applying for jobs and you won't get any responses back right and now the job market is tougher than ever so what I'm suggesting you to do is to figure out, okay, what capstone project am I gonna do? Uh, and then once I'm done with that, what, you know, bigger projects should I be doing? Maybe just for this video, I'm gonna leave projects here that you can build. I'm gonna leave them in the description of this video. You can go ahead and download the files and everything. And I'm gonna put, probably I'm gonna put something together with a few bonuses, which is gonna make it extremely appealing for you. Should I do that? maybe yeah check the link in the description i'll give you two sick projects that you can build you know once you're out of this stage and even if you are at this stage you can still build parts of these projects i think this is a good idea i think it's gonna help a bunch of people but yeah this is my strategy it's um it's very simple but it just takes a lot of work and commitment i would say commitment because you need to make sure that you have one year to do this whole stuff all right this part is all about learning and this is all about experience getting experience and making sure that you understand whatever you learned before and this is about earning at the end of the day you have to make money with this stuff otherwise i can think of uh, hobbies that are better than coding you know what i mean so sometimes you have the old person that says oh i'm not interested in coding uh, for the money, blah, 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 you know, I want to be fulfilled with my job. And I'm like, okay, I understand you, but would you do it for free? No. So everyone wants money. Um, I want money, you want money, it's fine. Just admit it. But this is how I see the process for 2023 and beyond because, you know, shit is tough right now with this current uh, job market and whatnot. And we need to figure out clever ways to, you know, sneak in, if that makes sense. And this is what I would recommend you to do, okay? Again, check the description of this video. I'm gonna leave there one link for you so you can um, start building some of these projects if you are at this level. If not, if you wanna implement this with me, you can join the waitlist for when the program is gonna be open again. Uh, and then we'll send you a few emails to let you know when that happens, okay? But yeah, that's it. I hope you liked it. Cheers.